All right, so now it's time to handle querying for an individual post. So a post by a specific ID. So once again, we will comment out the SQL code and we will do this using SQL Alchemy. So once again, copy the database dependency right here and then just pass it in. And this should actually be an integer. I don't know who changed that. I may have left that in from the previous video. Yeah, it should be an integer. Okay. Uh, and now what we want to do is, uh, just like we saw when it comes to querying all posts, we have to do db.query, pass in the specific model that we're interested in. And then uh, we're not going to do a dot all because we don't want all the posts. So we're going to have to take a look at a different uh, query operation. So I'll say db.query models.post. And then we want to filter. So we want to pass in a filter. So this is the equivalent of doing like a where. You can see that we filter by doing where ID equals, and then we pass in the ID. In this case, we're going to filter. And then here we say uh, whatever the models dot post dot ID is. So this is going to look through all of the posts in our database, and it's going to take a look at all of their IDs. And we want to see whenever that is equal to the ID that the user requested. So the ID from uh, this query parameter or this um, path parameter. So we say when they're equal, that's the one we want to return. And uh, if I do a uh, print of, first of all, let's save this to a variable. So I'll say post equals, and then I do a print of post. Save that, I'll open up the terminal, and then we'll send a request for an individual post. So I'll hit send. Um, we get a whole bunch of errors, that's okay. Let me see, and that's fully expected. All right, and then we can see the exact uh, SQL statement that this query actually made. Uh, and so here we're doing db.query and then filter, and we can see that we got uh, the select statement. Uh, and then here it's just grabbing all of, the, uh, all of the columns, right? But then you can see from posts, and then it says where post.id equals id underscore one. All right, and so this pretty much looks exactly uh, like we want it, right? It's, if you look at our SQL statement originally, it doesn't look any different. And so at this point, I think this should be good to go. However, right now it's still just raw SQL, right? We could see what the SQL statement is, but if you recall from the previous one, we had to do a dot all to actually send the query. So for us, we can do a dot all technically, and this would work, right? It would grab all the posts who have an ID of whatever ID we passed in. However, there's one little issue with doing it like this, and that is that once it finds one post, it's going to keep looking through all of the posts to see if there's any other ones. But we know that only one post can have this specific ID, so it's a waste of uh, Postgres's resources to continue looking when we know there should only be one. So anytime you know there should only be one, instead of doing a dot all, it's better to do a dot first. So it's going to find the first instance and going to return that. So it's going to save us some little time. It's going to be a little bit more efficient in that case. All right, let's save this and let's try this again and let's see if this works. All right, it looks like it worked. We got a post back, no errors. So I think everything is good to go. Um, let's go back to our Postgres database. We do see that there's one with an ID of four. So it seems to work, but let's test this out with a, a random ID of like 666. And we should get the 404. So looks like that's all we need to do when it comes to fetching an individual post. And I'll remove this print statement. We don't need that anymore. And then we can just conclude this video.